What's up guys? My name is Andrew Miley with AMM Sounds Recording and today I want to make a video to show you guys how to have individual tracks for each sound in impact in Studio One. Now I know some of you guys might not even know what I'm talking about. Some of you guys might be like Yes, this is the best video ever made. <clears throat> I know this is something that I would be looking for on YouTube because it took me forever just until a couple days ago to kind of figure out and fully comprehend how to use these features in Impact um, the way I've been trying to use it, which is as like a drum machine. Now, if you're like me and you don't have the room or maybe the equipment. Now I have a drum kit. It's not set up. It's a lot of uh, miscellaneous parts too. And I just don't have the, the drum mics and all that stuff to set it up. So instead of going that route, you know, doing the virtual drum thing. <clears throat> so I'm sure a lot of you guys are doing that and I'm sure a lot of you guys are using impact. So to get to the point, I want to show you guys how to use impact and use your samples and put them on individual tracks so you can process them individually and then record them as an audio track also as a MIDI track um, whatever you prefer so anyway here we are um, I'm actually about to do a cover to the song uh, Zach Wilde throwing it all the way if you never heard the song go check it out um, and then check out my version once I'm done but Anyway, bring up impact, okay? All you're gonna do is just drag it in here, which will make a uh, new instrument track. Okay, now, cool it, Roxy. Anyway, I have a default set up, so um, automatically mine is gonna bring up something that yours is not gonna do, so don't, so just never mind this part of um, this video just for a second okay I'll get back to this in just one minute just want to turn these down okay once you're in impact and say you created your drum kit that you like okay you got some drums in here right okay now you're gonna have a this is your instrument track right here okay this isn't a it's hard to explain this is just your your channel for your instrument to be used okay now these would be your tracks down here for you to assign an instrument to okay so the way I have this set up um, I have all my drum samples and stuff in here but when you come up to here these are your outputs for impact okay I don't know why that was not checked um, and I just realized this might not even be correct but anyway <coughs> bear with me here um, these are your outputs so when you have these selected for instance here's you got eight mono channels and you got eight stereo okay now I have eight mono selected and there's a stereo selected but like I said just bear with me now if you look at underneath of each of your sounds here you're gonna see a little box and it's gonna say stereo one through eight and it's gonna say mono one through eight okay now I may be doing this wrong I may be doing this a way that you might find you know very useful but I think this is the way that I'm going to be using it now when I bring this into the arranger window for me okay I'm just gonna X out of it it's gonna still be up all those sounds that I have for labeled for mono one are now on this channel because in this output right here it made a track right here mono one so everything right here which I've two bases so I have a double bass and I set them to the keys on my control board 
which is uh, my M audio. I have an Oxygen 49. So I have them set on here, which is not reading it right now because I do not have that set up. Okay, make sure that is set up to your uh, MIDI keyboard. So anyway, like I said, I have mono one, mono one, bass, bass. And you can see right here, mono one is showing up. Boom, 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 boom. Now these are instrument tracks, okay? So if you record, these are gonna be recorded in MIDI, okay? You can't engage this because it has one track right now, which is stereo, which is under this. And I just so happen to have my crashes on that. But you don't want to look at it like that, okay? You just want to look at this as a just a channel for your for your instrument, okay? So I have all the sounds labeled with what channel I want, either mono or stereo. Okay? Now if you want to go ahead and do that, pause this video and come back, that's fine. But I just wanted to show you guys. So I showed you mono. I got my drums. Now I got on mono two, I have my snare. Mono three, I have um, my hi hat closed. I have my hi hat open, and I have my ride. I think. No, I don't. I think I have something else. But anyway, I have my ride on four, two different rides. I have um, my hi tom on a separate track, my mid tom and my low tom all on separate tra uh, tracks. And then I have my crashes on stereo, stereo one. Now, if you have different sounds on say a stereo channel, you can come in here and if it's stereo, you can come in here and you can edit in impact the way you want it to be in your stereo in your stereo um, sound so like crashes I have certain crashes panned to the left certain crashes panned to the right some down the center um, and so forth so anyway to get to the point I want to show you guys this um, forget that this is an audio track you don't even need to see that but okay so here's impact as you can see there's only one track instrument track that's engaged you don't even need that engaged really okay now I'm still gonna be able to hear everything that's in impact you know what I mean okay so this is where it might get a little confusing so if you went and hit record right now the way it is okay now I can adjust the volume here the way I would like my snare. Okay. So now, now if I went and recorded this right like this, let me turn the click track off. Okay. Boom. You're probably getting something similar to this which is MIDI okay which is fine you can um, then you could actually come like this right click on it and you can explode pitches to tracks okay you could do it like that which is a one way that I do it okay or or which I didn't really even know about until now is if you hit track if you were gonna um, insert a new track and you come down here like this say you want an audio track make it an audio track and let's just say I want eight of them because I have eight monos down there from impact okay eight um, we'll just make them all we'll make them all orangish now we're gonna make them mono but the input, look, if we come to input, rather than selecting the input that's on our audio interface, which I'm using just an audio box 22 VSSL, VSL right now, left and right channel, left and right input, 
they have a little drop down menu right here for us that says instruments and look at this it has impact mono one mono two mono three all the way to mono eight so if I click impact mono one and click ex ascending and I have eight okay and hit okay it's gonna give me what did it just do it just did something Whoops. Okay, I see what it did. Um, I already have a track made. Oh, and Impact is already here too. So it has two tracks already made. But as you can see over here, the tracks, don't forget about the track names, track three, four, and five. Um, and so forth but you can see what it did is it, it made a track now it made an audio track rather than an instrument track where it would record video it made audio track let's get rid of this impact okay it made an audio track and look where it's pulling it from impact mono one which is my bass. so now I could name this bass just like that and go down the line and just um, label each one okay and now when you have them engaged now you can also you still can control the volume here so if I turn this down okay this is for your instrument but this would be for the audio okay you want to keep this at unity um, I haven't had much time to play around with this. I'm just, I'm literally just teaching you guys now as I learned it. But you could literally come like this, engage all of these. Okay. Now, when you record. Okay. It's actually going to record your drums that you were able to process before you do all this recording and you can do whatever you want to it before you did this recording. Um, it's going to record it in audio for you right here in nice audio waveform and you come back and you can hit play, hide these. And you can adjust your volumes accordingly. And process them from there. So that's how, um, you know, I'm going to be using Impact from now on. Um, just because, you know, I don't, um, it'll save me the hassle of setting up the drums and uh, all that. Or if you don't have Easy Drummer. Yeah, so uh, if you knew that, you know, awesome. Uh, you should have made a video or at least made, maybe you did make a video or it just wasn't clear enough. But um, if you didn't know that and this video helped you, you know, I'm glad. And hopefully, you know, you're able to uh, utilize what I uh, showed you here today. So um, anyway, uh, make sure you check out some more of my videos. Um, I'm going to be making a ton of videos and, you know, they're all free for you guys to learn. So hopefully you guys check them out. And uh, yeah, keep coming back. All right. Thanks, guys. Take it easy.